Hello everyone and welcome to Crochet Day by Day with me, Nadej, where I am taking you on my crochet adventures, experiments, and sharing some stories along the way. Today I am going to literally take you on an adventure. I made this top. I started it on a road trip, so I figured I would just take you along with me while I was crocheting, see the views. This is just a short little trip that my fiancé and I took with all of our dogs up to his ranch in Las Vegas, New Mexico, and I figured I would just take you along with me. So grab a snack, a drink, if you want to sit down and relax, I'm just going to do a little bit of a voiceover and give you some ASMR of the well, just nature sounds, I guess. I'll give you some nature sounds from while we were up there. And I will also include some video of me just crocheting and finishing this up at home and then show you the final, final product. Let's go ahead and get to it. Welcome on our little road trip here. For those of you that don't know, I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we are on our way to Las Vegas, New Mexico, which is about a two hour drive north. I didn't get a lot done here, but I did crochet nonetheless. I would think you noticed this dog in the middle here. This is our girl Ginger. She's the oldest, bestest girl ever, and the navigator because she knows exactly where we are headed. A little showing you how far I've gotten here. Oh, for those of you that are curious, here's my fiance Alan, and here are the other dogs. We've got Ruby, Jack, and Gus. Where is he? There he is. There's Gus and Ginger helping us get back to the ranch. Alan had to stop on the side of the road to pick some pretty wild flowers for his mom. And Gus had to be in my lap for the remainder of my crocheting here. And now we're on our way to the ranch. Enjoy. Now, I want to mention that this beautiful forest here actually went through fire this year in April. This whole place was engulfed in flames. 
as you can see these dead trees here and sadly Alan's property his house that he grew up in with his dad burned down Now we're just walking from Alan's mom's house down to his property that he inherited from his dad who passed away. And there it is, this burned down. You can see the damage. Hear some thunder in a minute. And there it is on the other side of that creek. And there's also flood damage and a ruby. So not only did it go through burning down, but there's flooding all over this doesn't doesn't look how it used to it's still very beautiful And here's the meadow that we're going to get married in. And the dogs are just having a blast. It's Sunday morning early in the States and we get up for every Formula One race, F1. We are obsessed. We're just having a conversation. I'm crocheting, watching the race. If you haven't seen the Netflix series Drive to Survive, you should look into it because it's really, really good. And it got us completely obsessed with F1. This is what we do most Sundays. Get up early, watch the race. I'm crocheting while watching. It's just what we do. And you can see Grouchy Gus right there. He always has to be near me. Making progress.
all I have to do is sew it together. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I do want to let you know a little bit about this pattern. I will link it down below. It's MJ's Off the Hook Rusty Road pattern. I did make this shirt in the orangish rust color that she created this pattern for and I really love that shirt. It fits wonderfully. It's so nice and I'm obsessed with this pattern. I made another shirt as a one piece with the same pattern or stitch pattern if you will and I just really wanted to make this one because it's easy it works up really quickly and I just oh, it's just so beautiful it's such a pretty top now I do want to let you know that I didn't use the exact yarn or hook size from the pattern what I did use is a 5.5 millimeter hook with 100% cotton yarn that requires a 4.5 millimeter hook. So I just went up a whole hook size. This is such an easy and fun pattern and I absolutely love it. I have created now three different shirts using the same pattern, or I guess you could say stitch in a way because one I one shirt, my anniversary top, I made a one piece and then I made the rest of the road and now this one. I don't know if, I'll, if this is a rusty road, it's more of a, I don't know what you'd call it, ranch top, I don't know, <laughs> but check that out. I am going to be using this pattern, this stitch for a cardigan coming up, which I am really excited about, so I hope that you stick around, and if you like this video, like this content, please subscribe. Please like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. Let me know what you're working on. Any more end of summer projects that you have going on or beginning of fall since we are now in September. I hope that you are having a really wonderful day today. If you are sticking around, I will see you next time.